wonder are if it's going to go be at it. bold enough. I mm -hmm. mean, even your New York colleague, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, talking about health care, says if you really want to get prices down, you have to go to single-payer health care. Will Democrats unify behind single-payer health care? Well, our economic agenda, we've talked so much about health care that we are not going to address that in this agenda. We've been talking about it. And let me just say, the first thing we're going to do should, first, I think that this, uh, the Trump care will not pass. It just is You think rotten. it's dead? I think it's very unlikely to pass because it's rotten to the core. People are not for reducing taxes on rich people or getting rid of Medicaid, which is a uh, very, very um, middle class now uh, thing, as well as for poor people. So the first things we're going to propose, if the Repub and the Republicans hopefully will join us once they abandon this rotten bill, is some cost sharing, which the insurance companies say will help bring down premiums and stabilize the market. Something else that Republicans have often supported, uh, which is reinsurance proposed by Tom Carper and Tim Kaine. And Claire McCaskill's proposed something in the Bear counties, B-A-R-E. You can, if you can't get insurance in those counties, you can get the same kind of health insurance we get. Then we're going to look at broader things. Single payer is one of them. So that is on uh, the table? Medicare, well, uh, sure, many things are on the table. Medicare for people above 55 is on the table. A uh, buy-in to Medicare is on the table. Buy-in to Medicaid is on the table. On the broader issues, we will start examining. Once we stabilize the system, and our Republican colleagues have said, should even Mitch McConnell alluded to the fact that should uh, their bill fail, they'll work with us on these first stabilization things. Then Democrats and Republicans will have different ideas, should sit down and talk about how we can improve the system. And the one thing we insist on, we not do what they did, which is just 10 Republicans, four Republicans in a room, not even including us, regular order, hearings, committees, go through the process. But on this agenda, we are going to really shake things up. And we're going to fill the vacuum that Donald Trump left when he campaigned on some of the things like this and then abandoned them for the hard right final, Koch brothers. F f final question. You heard Mr. Seculo on this issue of whether the president